Hey up everybody, Magpie Gaming here and in this video we're going to go into the latest news for Battlefield 2018 and the good news is that this unofficial moniker of Battlefield 2018, we might not have to use it for much longer. This guy here that you can see on your screen right now, Randy Evans, he is the senior video director and editor at DICE and he has tweeted to say that he is well underway with working on the reveal trailer for Battlefield 2018. So this has got people thinking that maybe we're going to see a reveal a lot earlier than what we did for Battlefield 1. Now Battlefield 1's reveal was in the May of 2016. It was then playable in the June, we then had the open beta not long after that and then obviously the release which I think was October maybe not too sure I think it's around October I can't remember but anyway it's looking like people think because he's put this tweet out now which was the 24th a couple of days ago we might actually see a reveal a lot sooner than we did for that game now dice have come out and said that the game will be fully playable at EA play now EA play is EA's spin on E3 they basically because EA is that big they decide to do their own like show invite a lot of youtubers a lot of the public can go in I think it's an invite only but you get a lot of people there and they like to reveal all of their games that are coming up later in the year and the things and the ideas that they've got so they've said that battlefield will be battlefield 2018 sorry will be playable at that event this is the same as battlefield 1 had its reveal in the may was playable in the june so we can't be that long away from seeing some footage of this game getting a reveal finding out what the setting is obviously the rumors are very strong that this will be a world war 2 setting i think everybody's pretty much fixed on that right now so if there was to come out and give us what we originally thought there was going to give us which would be a bad company free i think everybody would be pretty shocked but i think it's going to go world war 2 by the sounds of it i think that's the way that every, everybody's pointing at now and it is the natural progression for the game it's done world war one so it would naturally progress to world war two and then i think you will start to see some of the wars after world war two so you would have the vietnam war the cold war things like that those would much rather suit a pad company free kind of game so so all being well ladies and gentlemen very very soon we will have the reveal for the game i'm highly looking forward to that followed battlefield one not as much as I should have done. I should have put a lot more into Battlefield 1. I think I didn't really... I mean, it was very early in my YouTube career and I didn't really understand how to follow games and how to, you know, keep up with the news. I think I'll do a lot better with this Battlefield. I've got my ear a lot more to the ground on this one. I'm not saying I've got any insider information. I would love that. But I keep an eye on the news as it comes out and I think I do a lot, I'll do a lot better with this Battlefield than I did the previous one. Now, speaking of insider information, a lot of all of these rumours started with the almighty Dak. He came out a few months ago and said that it was going to be a bad company free he um he had credible source within dice he knew one of the devs he'd been talking to him and then not long after he went back on that he called out a number of prominent youtubers and said you know look you've got deals with ea why don't you just be honest and come out and tell your audience that you already know what's going on these youtubers some of them kept quiet others did videos and attacked him back and we had a bit of a spat i think there was level cap and westy there was a bit of an argument there and only a few weeks ago almighty dak tweeted westy and told him to stop speculating about what he already knew now i can see both sides of the argument on this obviously almighty dak says that he has a dev within dice that is leaking inf information and because he isn't tied to ea he can put that information straight out there now he said that these youtubers such as westy and level cap jack frags etc they've all got deals with ea now the chances are that they do have deals with ea they do a lot of videos on their games ea will use these guys to put information out there they get paid everybody's happy but if they do have a deal with these people they're not then gonna go revealing stuff when it's not official there's absolutely no reason for dice and ea to reveal to these youtubers what's happening with the next battlefield right now there's no point doing it on an official level because it serves no purpose there's no point in them going to them and saying oh yeah we're doing a world war 2 theme but there's no gameplay footage there's nothing you can put in your videos you can't go telling anybody because you're under an nda so it'd be pointless them doing that now i would assume that these guys are very very friendly with people at dice so there's probably been informal conversations with people there and these people have said oh yeah by the way we're doing a world war 2 theme and that'll be that so they probably will know but almighty dax says we'll stop speculating on it if you already know but the issue is that especially for westy he's more new 
used and gaming on his channel and speculation is what his viewers want to see they want to be they want you know the speculation is what brings the crowds in for him so he's not going to stop doing what gives him his livelihood so but like i say i see both sides of the argument that these two are getting on too well but we'll see i mean almighty dax was very very um sure that it was going to be a bad company free and then he changed his mind and he said no it's probably going to be world war ii now if he had a credible source at dice i wouldn't understand why he would say something like that but you know it's all up in the air right now none of us really know only the guys at dice know and maybe a few select people outside them but we'll wait and see will it be world war ii I don't too much mind if it is going to be World War II. Like I say, it's a natural progression for the game. Obviously, there'll be better vehicles, better weapons. We'll get different scenery and uh, stages for the war to be set on. I'd like to see them comp continue with the war stories that they did for the campaign within the game. But I would like to see more of that. I was a bit dismayed when... Releasing DLC with Battlefield 1 they didn't do more war stories. I wanted to see more of that I thought it was very well put together. It was quite educational. It was paced very well But they never did know more of it So I would like to see more of that now the one thing that I really do want to see above all else Apart from what setting it is is I want to see what they're going to do with the pricing structure for this game Are they going to continue with this live services that they've done with Battlefront 2 whereby you just buy the base game and the DLC is free but you've got to fund that through loot boxes of course that hasn't been the case with Battlefront 2 so I can see there being a little bit of a to in and fro in with that within EA obviously Battlefront 2 damaged them quite badly a lot of people don't have much faith in them right now so we'll see where they go with this one will they just do what they've done with Battlefront or will they go the same route as they did where you just buy the game and then you play, pay for the premium package to get the DLC we'll have to wait and see on that one it's going to be interesting to see which way they go obviously they're not going to want to damage their reputation anymore but they do want to look at a different way of structuring their games live services on the surface seems like a good idea but when you bolt on a load of shit to fund it it doesn't work too well as seen with battlefront 2 so we'll see where we go with that as always ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and listening don't forget to like share and subscribe for more battlefield 2018 news and i will catch you in the next one take care